Welcome to my review of the Tin T2. I bought these like back in 2018 and I actually forgot I own them. So I like but as you can still buy these technically, I'll uh, I'll do my review because these are these are worth it. Obviously, anybody who's watching this, you've probably already seen a review of this ages ago, but I thought I'd share my take on it because it's they're, they're not too bad. As you can see, mine's Tin Audio, but it's now the company did a rebrand. It's actually Tin Hi Fi, but it's all the same. So you get the manual in a language obviously most folks can't understand. A little bit of English. So these are classed as dual dynamics 12 to 40,000, 16 ohms, blah 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 blah, blah. gun. gun Gun colour, so I guess gun metal finish 3.5. Super easy to power, like no issues whatsoever. Fit them in a bit. Bunch of silicon tips. Now, the one thing to note there is wide bore, as you can see, like the one next to my right thumb, and these are like normal, see wide, wide. Uh, where are you? There you go. Like a normal type of size, so no issues. And they come pre-installed with two foams, if that's you know, if that's who you want. I normally use uh, silicon tips, but I tried it a couple of times with a foam, and it works fine. But I tend to prefer the silicon tips. Really nice packaging, as you say, tin audio, because mine's an old one, kind of like a book. And that's where they sat in there, cable through there. Now, because mine's an early one, I've heard that when they, they changed the cable. So mine's an early one, which is a little bit janky. I never heard the connectors are better on the newer ones. But anyway, 3.5 straight, be like carbon fibre effect. Strain relief, good. It's it, I find this cable, it's a bit... Janky, but yeah, I've heard the new ones are a little bit softer, or the later ones are a bit softer. As you can see, it's not a bad cable. It works, it works fine. I've had, I've got no issues with how it works. Strain relief, no strain relief. That doesn't matter. You can see, and yeah, mine are clear. I've seen on the later ones that these look more like white. But mine, mine are fine. So anyway, there's the cable. Ooh, let's get it off. Let's see. Let's get rid of all this. Let's take these off because we don't need that. Extremely small, as you say. A lot of people either who's watching it are probably either used one or probably own these. So I think these sold quite well. And the beauty of these is they can be used like two ways, either cable down or cable up. So you've got a vent in there. Uh, well, there's a vent in there. There's a base mod that people do to these, but it can send. I did it once and I wasn't really keen. It sounded a bit too much, a bit too like floppy. I didn't really like it, but I preferred it as it is. But yeah, blue, red, which is well, which I really like to see. As you say, these are really small, but yeah, you can use these two ways. So this is like the blue, so that normally that'd be left. If you're using this like over here, say if this is your left ear, so you you say if you're looking that way, that will go around your ear like that, or you can unplug it, use that on the right ear, and have it cabled down. So if you're looking, as you say, the same direction, this is going into your, ear, into your ear and you can use your cable down so you can use them both ways which is really good or you can use that in the right ear cable up, you, 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 you know what I mean if you want to use it cable down or cable up make sure you swap these around uh, comfort uh, this is where I had a problem because these aren't like a normal shape I struggled a little bit to get the right comfort but I, I found in the end the comfort is okay it what it wasn't great and it wasn't bad i'd say it's more average at, at, at the best but yeah 
really nice build quality if you'll focus but yeah really nice finish the t2 pro which i've never tried is the same setup but meant to be brighter there's also a t3 which look again looks exactly the same it's meant to be a one dynamic and one Knowles armature so that might sound it might be brighter sounding and then you got the t4 which is a single dd which is supposed to be pretty good but I haven't tried none of those. This is the only one I've tried. As you say, this is an older one from 2018. Uh, what do these sound like? Um, well, I thought these are more more focused towards mids and the treble, was my opinion. They have bass, but compared to a lot of things, the, these might sound bass light, but they do have it. They're not, they're not completely anemic or anything like that. They do have it. It all depends on the genre. If you like electronic music, EDM, trance, blah, 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 blah. These might not be for you. It just depends on your preference. But yeah, they they are light on bass. But anything that we, anything that's more like or like orchestral music, I, sound, I thought these sounded really good on it. Like, really good. Um, say like mids, mids are good, more mid focus compared to some, and and the say like the treble. I say if you're a lot of people, you 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 know what I'm talking about because you already own these. But um, yeah, great mids, great treble. Instrument instrument separation, I thought was really good. Details is really good. Uh, sibilance they can get a bit, they can get a, a, a touch bright, but. It all depends on the quality of your source, the music, etc. Things like that. Isolation of these was okay. They just take a bit. Of, they take a bit of work to get to fit your ears, really. I, I when the first put them in, they were a bit cold, but obviously then your ears, you know, your body heat warms them up as well. I would have heard a two pin, but I say it's it's all good. Uh, what do I have for size? So, here's the... Yeah, that's what I've been using these. QKZ VK4s. As you see, they're not really... That's kind of a normal size. As you can see, how small these are. Much smaller. Sensitivity of these. Super easy to power out. On a few devices, makes no difference. Yeah. No problems whatsoever. wasn't really finicky. So you can pair these off pretty much anything. Uh, sound stage, I didn't think was that big. Kind of average. Uh, but really good. Like I said, really good. I thought the separation was really good. Something you normally get like on decent BA units. But these, yeah, they did a good job of separation, I think, anyway. Uh, imaging on these was average at best. I don't know why, but the average, the imaging seemed kind of average to me. It wasn't really bad, but what wasn't great, I'd say like average. And yeah, I think I'll keep this short, as you say, because this is an older unit, but you can still buy them. I love to see what the uh, the newer cable was like in comparison, but I don't know anybody in real life who's got these, so I can't check. But I think. Yeah, quite a short review. I didn't really need to stretch this out because they are not a bad unit. I I recommend them. Like compared to the QKZs, which are like I think. Ignore the adapter because that's separate. But like these for like ten dollars. Ish, uh, I think are the budget king. I don't think these. Obviously, these came out earlier but i don't think these are better than these they're just different if you understand what i mean but yeah i think that's it anything you want to know just you know as usual let me know in the comments and that's it awesome looking things just comfort and obviously more of a brighter sound so just bear that in mind and uh, I'm out. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back soon with another review.